Uh, thank you very much. So uh, uh, I, I will talk about what we are currently doing, uh, trying to develop a portable device for the rapid identification of viruses, including COVID-19, uh, using optical spectroscopy, which would take you, let's say, less than five minutes in, in, in detecting. So we're using, in our case, we're using carbon nanotubes that you can see here, aligned carbon nanotubes. We use them as filters and we're trapping viruses and enriching samples from patients and the idea is to, to then optically detect it with Raman spectroscopy, which is a very fast technique. Uh, what you see here, uh, usually when, when viruses mutate and you have different sort of uh, variants or, or, or mutations is that the envelope protein of the viruses starts changing and then your antibodies are no longer effective. And that's a problem. Sometimes you need to develop antibodies uh, uh, so that you can identify them, for instance, by PCR. But if you can trap them without the label, without the antibodies, that's what we're trying to do. So we're trapping new viruses and also trying to trap them and concentrate them without uh, the antibodies. Uh, uh, we're using aligned carbon nanotubes, so we can grow uh, different arrays of aligned carbon, carbon nanotubes, and we can control the intertubular distance of the tube. So in principle, we can uh, trap viruses of different sizes because the viruses range in size and morphology as well, depending on the types of viruses. Uh, the technology that we're using to concentrate viruses is it's these ones. So it's a size tunable enrichment platform. And what you see here is that when you have your sample, you pass it through, it's a microfluidic device. You are trapping your viruses in a, this three dimensional filter that uh, later on you can do different things with it and you, to, in order to identify. But you are, we are concentrating the viruses very, uh, very uh, uh, effectively. So uh, here is, you see an SCM image of the viruses. This is H5N2 that we have uh, enriched and we have trapped. And then you have uh, the viruses, they, some of them adhere very well to the carbon nanotubes. And then we have a technology to enrich viruses. And that's the technology we're currently using to use Raman spectroscopy, which is an optical technique to detect them. So what we do is it's, uh, we, we make these uh, large uh, devices, I mean, sort of microfluidic devices, which are larger, and uh, we use uh, gold, in this case, gold nanoparticles to get, get a Raman signal. So you, you shine a laser, you get a signal, and then you get a spectra. So the type of spectra that you are getting, it's, uh, for instance, for different viruses, you get these different peaks, different viruses, different concentrations. So you can use machine learning algorithms and then identify and detect viruses. And this is something that we're trying to do right now. Uh, so we have done it with flu viruses, and these are the current flu viruses that are circulating as well in the flu season. Uh, and you have your vaccines, uh, uh, flu vaccines included the H1N1, the H3N2, and the, and the flu B. Uh, and what we have seen is that you can see the different signals from the different viruses that you get the signals from the, from the envelope proteins. And we can identify with accuracies larger than 95% different types and subtypes of viruses, which is very good. So the project that we are currently doing with the eager is really moving forward as well in this direction because we're trying to do uh, coronaviruses and we're using coronaviruses from chicken. And here we are trapped with, you can see the trapped viruses uh, of the coronaviruses uh, from chicken. So uh, this is just comparing the uh, respiratory viruses from humans and the chicken coronavirus. You can see the is the same range, 5 to 2,000, 500 to 2,000, 500 to 2,000, and you can see more peaks here. So you have different peaks coming from the coronaviruses. So one of the things is, can we differentiate using this technique, uh, differentiate different strains of viruses? And we have tried 32 strains of, uh, of these viruses. Uh, this is the chicken coronaviruses. And we can see that depending on the year and the region, we can really identify them. So we can, you can see they are grouping them in different sort of areas. That means that we can really, in principle, we can identify different strains. And that's very, very important for, for our work. In addition, we have also uh, identified this receptor binding domain from the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2, the COVID-19, and we can see the peaks and the signal from this, this domain. So right now, what we're trying to do is we want to improve the signal to noise ratio. Uh, so we want to get better, even better signals using a 2D metal, so using other substrates instead of the gold nanoparticles. And we're getting these sort of sharper signals. So we get sharper signals and better signals, then we will be able to do even, have even higher accuracy and, and better performance. 
And we want to deploy this in the field. And for doing that, we have this collaboration with JPL, with Sona Hosseini, with she can make this sort of a, a handheld Raman spectrometers, which you can deploy in the field. So that's what we are uh, currently doing. Uh, we hope to finish this design and we hope to get an improved signal to noise ratio over, over the following months. And this is the team of researchers. These are the students and postdocs involved and Sona Hosseini as well, who is part of this this, this uh, award. Thank you.